How to make gunpowder. When the ammo has run out, the silence is getting too loud, and all you have left is one sharp stick. The raiders are getting bold, and your traps are only catching mutated rats. You need something more than just a pointy end. You need the final argument. The solution? Kitchen chemistry. Very, very loud kitchen chemistry. First, carbon. Burned wood. Willow is the classic choice, but who's picky now? And crush it into a fine black dust. Next, the oxidizer. Scrape up that white, salty crust from old barn floors or from that forgotten bag of fertilizer. That's potassium nitrate. Finally, find sulfur, that yellow, stinking rock. No sulfur, no show. Grind each component separately. I cannot stress this enough unless you want to become a red mist. Mix them carefully. About 75 parts nitrate, 15 parts charcoal, 10 parts sulfur. But you don't have a scale, do you? Eyeball it. The saltpeter provides its own oxygen letting the charcoal and sulfur burn instantly. It's a self-contained explosion. Test a tiny pinch, a bright, sudden flash, perfect. A slow, sad fizzle, you've made a smoke bomb. A loud bang that singes your eyebrows, congratulations. You're now a munitions expert.